Ever wonder why it takes a whole decade to build a supercarrier? It's because the process is a marathon of incredibly complex stages, not just one big construction project. The whole thing actually starts years before anyone even touches a piece of metal. First, a team of engineers has to come up with a design for a warship that's going to be in service for 50 years. They have to guess what kind of technology and threats will exist way down the road. This means a ton of research, computer modeling, and drawing up plans for millions of different parts. Everything from the nuclear reactors that let it sail for years without refueling to the high-tech catapults that launch jets has to be designed and tested to make sure it's safe and works perfectly. Getting this part right is a huge deal because any mistake here can cause major headaches and delays later on. After all the planning, the real building can finally kick off, and it's a massive job that happens in stages. It all starts with a ceremony where they lay the keel, which is like the ship's backbone. From there, the carrier is built in enormous chunks called superlifts, some weighing over a thousand tons. These huge sections are built somewhere else and get packed with all the wiring, pipes, and vents they need. Then, a giant crane lifts them into place and they get welded together. It's like putting together a colossal puzzle, and it takes a super skilled team and a lot of coordination to get it right. A huge chunk of time is spent just getting all the complex technology installed and working together. A modern supercarrier is basically a floating web of advanced electronics and combat systems. Putting in the two nuclear reactors, the ship's powerhouse, is a super careful and secure job that takes years all by itself. Then you have miles of cables, complicated radar, and communication gear, and all the defense systems that have to be installed and tested over and over. Every single system has to work perfectly on its own and with everything else, which means endless hours of tweaking to make sure the ship is ready for anything. The last few years of the decade are all about testing, testing, and more testing. Once the ship is all put together, it heads out to sea for some intense trials to see how it handles in the real world. They push everything to the limit, from its speed and how tightly it can turn to making sure the jet elevators and landing gear work flawlessly. At the same time, the crew of over 5,000 sailors and pilots starts training to learn the ins and outs of their new home. It's only after it passes every single test and is officially welcomed into the Navy that the supercarrier is finally ready to go.